Dali Madad, Marhaba, Salam, and Khushamadid. On behalf of the Jamaati institutions, I am so happy to welcome you back to Jamaat Khana. Mubarak, Mubarak, Mubarak. Jamaat Khana has hold a special place in each of our hearts. And shukr, we are so excited that some Jamaat Khanas across the United States, in compliance with government authorities, are beginning to reopen in a phased approach as it is safe to do so. Our volunteers have been working very hard to prepare Jamaat Khana spaces for your return and to help keep us all healthy. Things are going to feel a little different. My name is Sultana and I'd like to walk you through what to expect and how to best prepare to get ready to return to Jamaat Khana. Let's get started. Before we head to the main entrance of Jamaat Khana, there are a few things we need to be aware of. As you enter the parking lot, you will notice some new procedures. Please be mindful and especially attentive to the instructions of the volunteers. Please ensure you've registered at home using the Ismaili app and have a confirmation before coming to Jamaat Khana. Before leaving, make sure to bring your own tasbih and put your face covering. Please limit the number of items you bring inside. If you or someone in your family requires a wheelchair, please remember to bring your own. Food offerings, plates, and reusable nandi bags will not be permitted at this time. Remember, Jamaati members are requested to attend the respective Jamaat Khanas that they regularly attend. Please do not travel to attend a different Jamaat Khana. So let's go over what we've covered so far. Please make sure to bring your own tasbih, that you've registered and you have a confirmation to attend, you bring and wear your face covering, please make sure to cover your nose and your mouth, and that you limit the number of items you bring inside. Okay, before we make our way to the entrance of Jamaat Khana, I'm going to now wear my mask. Remember, you will need to wear your mask before you exit your car. When you arrive at the entrance of Jamaat Khana, you will be greeted by one of our volunteers. The volunteers will be doing health and safety checks. All Jamaati members, ages two and above, will need to wear a face covering at all times. And no, scarves, shawls, and dupattas don't count. Please be sure to protect yourself and the Jamaat by wearing a proper face covering. Next, the volunteers will want to verify your registration by looking at the app on your phone or looking up your registration details. If you need help with registration, call the access desk number below. Finally, volunteers will check your temperature and ask you some questions. They'll ask, whether you've traveled recently, if you have symptoms such as a cold, fever, runny nose, or if you have come into contact with anyone who has contracted the coronavirus. Before leaving home, it would be a good idea to take your temperature. If it is equal to or above 100.4 degrees, please stay home and contact your doctor. So let's recap everything that will happen at the Jamaat Khana entrance. Volunteers will ensure you're wearing a face covering, confirm your registration, ask some questions related to your health and travel, and take your temperature. As you can see, these new additional steps will be necessary for all of our collective safety Please leave extra time before you arrive so that we aren't rushed and can all go inside and be seated on time. Okay, it looks like we're ready to go inside.
Alhamdulillah, it feels so great to be back inside Jamaat Kana. Now, before we take off our shoes and enter the prayer hall, let's talk about a few items. When you enter the Jamaat Kana lobby, pay special attention to signs located throughout the Jamaat Kana space. Volunteers will guide you to a designated place in the prayer hall or an alternate location marked with either one or two dots. One dot indicates a place for one person and two dots are for two people from the same household and gender to sit together. Once seated, please remain in your designated place. Upon completion of Jamaat Kana ceremonies, Please follow volunteer directions. Exit the prayer hall maintaining a six foot distance from members outside your household and exit the Jamaat Kana premises promptly. Family members are encouraged to meet at their cars instead of in the lobby. I know that we have gone through a lot of procedures and checklists. But our primary concern is your health and safety and that each of us has an uplifting and positive Jamaat Kana experience. Let's make it our personal responsibility to exercise personal hygiene and maintain physical distancing so that we can reopen our Jamaat Kanas safely and continue to keep them open. Our volunteers will be working extra hard to ensure that Jamaat Kana stay clean and safe. So let's follow their instructions. Let us refrain from gathering and socializing before or after ceremonies. I hope this walkthrough of returning to Jamaat Kana has been helpful. On behalf of the entire U.S. Jamaati institutional leadership, Please accept my warmest mubarakis and humble shukrana as we begin to reopen Jamaat Kanas across the United States. Ya Ali Madad.